Now we want to go to our crime and safety analyst, Gil Smith, who's also live there uh, with Destiny McKeever. Gil, if you could just please tell us what will be the steps now after this in this investigation? In this investigation. Well, now they're going to try to find out if this was an accident or was there foul play involved um, to see if there was a cover on the water holding tank. Uh, it would seem like it would be difficult for a three-year-old to remove something like that because it would probably be quite heavy or if someone else was with them or just how the tank um, was available or exposed to the child. Did the child get in on his own? Was there some type of foul play? They'll be able to determine that based on um, the autopsy and possibly the physical evidence that's here at the scene. Gil, I know it is obviously early in the investigation. What details might we be able to expect uh, in the days ahead? A lot of questions again surrounding this tank, how he might have gotten in there, that sort of thing. Well, I'm sure they can get with the city of Jacksonville and they could um, let them know whether or not the tank was covered or why it wasn't covered if it, if it wasn't. So they'll be able to get that information. Also information from family members um, who last saw the child and where the child was last seen, was it near uh, the water tank? And if anyone in the area may have seen something. That's why they bring in so many police officers initially at four o'clock when they determined that the child was missing. They bring in a lot of police officers to check the entire area, talking with neighbors and everyone and checking out everything. And one thing that they did was to ask to search that water tank. Gil, one last question for you. We've done stories on this in the past about children wandering off. Talk about how easy something like this could happen to any family. It, it can, and sometimes people, when they hear a story like this, they might think, well, the parents were negligent. That's not necessarily the case. Um, when that young, it's quite easy for a, a three-year-old to just, um, just wander off. It just takes a matter of seconds sometimes. That's why it's so important, especially when you're at a family gathering like this or in a park, is to assign people to always have somebody keeping the eyes on the child. You know, sometimes that's difficult because they can just start off very quickly without someone knowing. But at this point, there's still, there may be foul play involved. They don't know at this point. But um, if it was accidental, um, it's just so unfortunate that something like this would happen to the, uh, our most innocent citizens, the ones who really can't defend themselves. But uh, unfortunately, this is um, the outcome tonight. Very tragic, yes, Gil, and thank you, Gil, crime and safety analyst, for your input as this investigation will continue.